Good morning! It is just past 9.15 in the morning of day 13 and I actually woke up a little bit later today around 8.30 um, and I just finished teaching my student and I have a video call with my friend but I'm going to quickly eat breakfast first. I ended up um, staying up a little later last night like around 2 or 3 just working on my paper so I got some progress, um, good progress on that. For breakfast today we have congee, assorted vegetables, hard boiled egg and a tofu sinjokgun, some kind of a uh, or like bamboo no tofu soy roll there <laughs> yay it is less gloomy today a little brighter the clouds are not as heavy so it is so it is just past 12 30 and I have been working on my paper for a couple of hours got my COVID test as well which was easy peasy um, wasn't painful or anything at all not even uncomfortable um, and my mom is having my uncle bring me some lunch today so I will um, I'm looking forward to what that is I'm just yeah working on my paper gonna keep working on it until lunch comes I'm actually not too hungry right now but I'm looking forward to what it will be hello it is just past 2 p.m. and so I'm actually not that hungry yet but I thought I would still eat lunch just so I don't mess up my entire timetable um, but lunch has arrived from the uh, hotel as well so I'm gonna show that and then I'll do the un boxing or unpacking of the food that my uh, uncle dropped off for me today. From the hotel we have some veggies and I think it's like a tomato sauce and some tomatoes and some rice. Okay, so for my mom today, we have, I think this is probably for lunch and dinner. So we have some pastry items here. Um, this first one looks like a cheese bread, this one. And then this one, I can't quite tell what it is. Oh, it looks like a garlic bread. So it's like a garlic bread, this one, and also a cheese bread. And then we have some of our hot, oh, and then we have an apple as well. I still have lots of fruit. I have not been working through those quickly enough yet, so I definitely need to eat more fruit. Especially I don't have much time left. I have just over a week left, so I definitely need to eat my food. Um, oh my goodness, there's an entire fish, but let's see what this is first. So this here, of course, very nicely wrapped. <gasps> oh, okay, so the thing on the top, you guys might remember, my mom gave it to me maybe like last week or so, is a um, like a dumpling of sorts and inside there's sticky rice so it's a savory dish. Um, and then here we have fu gua, bitter melon, which we know is my absolute favorite. I think there's actually two of these dumplings so I will not be um, eating the rice because this will definitely fill me up enough with lots of carbs. And here, I want to take off this paper so you can see, there's an entire fish! Oh my goodness. So my mom chopped off the head and the tail just so it can fit on this plate. But I'm very much looking forward to having this fish and the dumpling, rice thing, and the bitter melon. Thank you to my mom and thank you to my Yi Jung uh, for bringing this to me and I will have the food now. Good evening, it is 5 p.m. So I took a little bit of a longer lunch break. I was watching some vlogs. Um, and also talk with my friend for a little bit, but I'm gonna do some of the day now and then get more work done on my papers. So today's song is Zi Zu um, by Mayday. And so Zi Zu uh, translates into contentment. Um, and so the story of this song talks about a breakup and how, you know, even after a breakup, you can have well wishes for the other person. You can pray for them, give them good wishes and be happy for them. And that even though you might not be together anymore, you can be, you can have satisfaction and have peace um, in knowing that you guys once had good memories together. You can still cherish those memories and only by being able to let go of things that, you know, you can be able to be happy and be content. Um, and so I know that, but I think when I 
listen to the song today actually I was thinking more about just contentment in terms of just like where you are right now not in terms of relationship um, and I was thinking a lot about this because I you know this morning um, last night and this morning my friends were asking me like oh how are you doing like how is this hotel situation you know aren't you like you know how are you feeling with quarantine um, and I talked you know with, with an auntie earlier this afternoon about this as well and I think that for me what's really pushing me through quarantine is the fact that I know what's on the other side um, and I know that I'm not quarantining like for no reason but because I think it'd be different if I was stuck in quarantine for another reason you know like let's say if I was in a co close contact with someone it'd be a little bit tougher but because I know that I'm here to spend time with my family um, it's easier to get through quarantine also because I have lots of stuff to do but because I know I'm not here you know for no reason I'm, I'm actually okay you know especially compared to last time in February obviously this hotel is smaller um, you know not as bright and whatever you know there's different circumstances but still like, I'm just so like content to be here obviously I want to leave the hotel room and be with my family but I'm like yeah like I said I'm doing well we have just about a week left but I think I'm just always just beyond grateful to even be here um, you know I was talking to my other friend and she was saying how like you know it's so cool how even since COVID, I've been able to travel and I definitely try to take, you know, my I do my best to like take all the right precautions, but you know, um, I, I live in Calgary, I used to live in Calgary, I guess, but um, you know, even since kind of the pandemic started, I've been able to go to Vancouver and like now Toronto and Hong Kong, um, but because of my layovers, um, earlier this year I was able to explore Amsterdam for like half the day even like something as simple as that and being able to see something more like I know it's what not everyone has been able to do in terms of like traveling and whatnot so I know that I'm very very blessed and I yeah even though you know no one really likes to be in quarantine for 21 days I'm just so glad I'm so I'm still like at peace with the fact you know that I'm here and just content so this is yeah the song for today so it is almost 6 30 work is going well slowly but um, steadily and surely dinner just arrived I don't think I'm gonna eat it I think I'm just gonna have um, I'm gonna finish the fugua the bitter melon that my mom made me for lunch and then have some soup and then probably yeah just leave it there maybe have some bread later or fruit probably have that um, instead of this dinner which is rice tomatoes and some cabbage lotus root and carrot so along with the bitter melon I also added a little bit of rice and the cabbage and I'm gonna have this soup today this one is polygonum root broom rape chestnut and silky chicken soup for benefiting the body's vital essence and replenishing kidneys it is almost 11 p.m. My hair is crazy, meaning I've been productive. <laughs> so I am more than halfway through my paper. I think the rest of it should be even easier to write. I'm at like 3,000 something words now, but it's not, um, yeah, it's gonna be a 20 page paper, uh, double space. So I need, just, I need to just keep going on it. I still have another one after this. And so I'm gonna call it a night soon, I think. I'm gonna talk with my friend for a little bit edit the vlog and then go to bed so I will catch you tomorrow thank you so much for hanging out with me for day 12 I think and yeah I'm losing count day 12 I don't even know but I will see you tomorrow for whatever day it is bye